Can I turn the AC down, David? Yeah, man. Alright, because I'm freezing my nips. I'm freezing my nips. Yeah, I'll point this one towards you. I'm gonna keep that freezing your nips too, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> Still pretty stuck, and I'm here with the guys. And um, what's going on? Hey, how's it going? And uh, so today we wanted to do a little vlog, uh, discussing something, uh, something very deep and touching to Greg. It, it's 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 near to my heart and this channel. And uh, uh, this okay, guys. So, Chevy, what the fuck? All right, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, okay, like, I get it. Like, the Sonic was your subcompact, where the Avail was. I mean, it's it's more it's a more of the successor to the Cobalt. It's just I don't know where they were thinking they're going through that because like the current gen Sonic as long like in the hatchback configuration I think it's a real good looking car like I mean that's just you know I think they're good looking cars I mean the, the sedan could use some work and I mean we'll get into a little bit more but I mean I thought it was a good looking car it's a good you know entry level car that you know someone could go out and buy and daily drive that and it's a good looking car it performs well and now with this redesign I just I I do not like what they did with it. Yeah, like, I get the selling point, because that's what it was supposed to be before. It was supposed to be the teenage car, the cool car. But, like, you know what happened when people tried to do cool teenage cars? Scion happened. <laughs> it's, oh, man. You guys just, it's, the design itself isn't bad. Yeah, I mean, it's not, but, like, when you see the old Sonic. It, I think it loses a lot of its, like, appeal compared to the old model. Yeah. This new one, because it's not... They, they, they changed enough of it so it doesn't look they, as appealing to a teenager as it would have before. They like softened it up too yeah. much. Like whenever I look, like when I look at this new Sonic, I'm like, oh, that's just a new Chevy Aveo. Yeah, like, uh, it hurts to hear it, you know, because it's like... Because the Aveo was such a bad car. <laughs> it's just, they went so modern with it to the point where it looks like this chunky, like, oh yeah, I will buy that for my college student. Right. Because... You would. At this point, they're like, just appeal to the parents of the college students. They're the other ones who are paying it anyways. So now we got, ended up with where we're at now. The the front end's been totally rounded off. The back end's just like, bloop. And it's it's got, it lost its character. Yeah, and my favorite feature is the headlight and yeah. taillight design. And they just threw it away. Like, a lot of people were upset when they did it to the Camaro and when they did it to the Vet. But I liked how they did it on those. This... This not so much. And and don't think we're just ragging on the looks either, because the drivetrain's the exact same thing. Yeah. Front wheel drive, the 1.4 liter turbo and the 1.8 liter are still the only engine sizes available on the car. So, I mean, you'll still have solid performance. Yeah, performance wise, not gonna change anything really. As I was reading, nothing really changed other than the exterior look to it. I mean, yeah, so I guess on one token, I guess, yeah, you're keeping everything that like, or, like as far as like its bones, it's still all there, but it just, it lost a lot of what made it, you know, a fun car, in yeah. my opinion. The looks, you know, you're you're like, oh, that's kind of a cool looking car. And when you're like, oh, I can get into one of those for, you know, under $17,000. Oh, yeah. But now you look at it, you're like, oh, I don't really want to buy one of those. <laughs> I mean, honestly, guys, you know, we, we could be wrong. I mean, like, this is the opinion of guys who really like sports cars and trucks and, like, just something that looks aggressive. So for it to be dumbed down so much from what it was is very, it's very, it's a weird design philosophy, whatever they were thinking about it. I don't agree with it. Yeah, we'll, we'll link the article for you guys. You guys can go, we'll obviously put a picture in the video. We'll link the article for you guys. You guys can go and check it out yourselves. See what you guys think about it, but I don't know. It's it's kind of rough, but I will give the redesign one thing. The sedan looks a little better. 
Yeah. It definitely looks better than the hatchback. Yeah. <laughs> if you compare the two, the, hatch, the hatchback really lost a lot of feel like it's insane. And sedan gained a little from it, but I still don't know if it's enough yeah, to make up. As the Sonic currently stands, the hatchback's a real good looking car, and like the sedan, I honestly, I can take it or leave it. Yeah. But with this new redesign, I mean, it sharpened up the sedan a little bit, but it really took a lot away from the hatch. Yeah. Well, like, and with the hatch, those rear headlights are so, or the, the tail lights, tail lights are so big on the hatchback that it fits, but then when you put it onto the small back end of the sedan, it's the most awkward thing. Yeah, it like swallows it up and it just, it looks, it looks disproportionate. Yeah. And so for the brand new one, I mean, I guess you improved your sedan look. And I understand that the sedans, I think the sedans actually sold more. Really? And that's just because people are buying it that aren't students. It's like a lot of a lot of moms are buying it. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of families people. are buying it because it's cheap and the gas mileage is good. So I can see the appeal of having an actual trunk. I, yeah, I guess so. Well, because I, I mean, think about my trunk space compared to that to the sedan. Yeah. Yeah, very true. It's, it's a real big difference between. So just the, they seem like two very different cars though between the sedan and the hatch. Just the hatch looks a lot better, at least now. But when that redesign comes, when when is that? And there's one. It's ugly. I hate <laughs> you. The redesign schedule to come out is that 2017. It's the 2017 20? production year. Oh. Okay. So you'll be um, seeing them later this year. Yeah. So you'll be, you won't be surprised. You'll you'll see it and you'll go oh. <laughs> I mean, if you like the Sonic. You could be, you'll probably be disappointed, and a lot of you, you'll be indifferent. But that, this is just our two cents about it, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it can go either way. It could be a great mass appeal. I mean, the RS package that they had at the uh, the SEMA show was actually really nice. And I'm like, well, the RS package, of course, it's nice, but the headlights and everything still kill it. It looks like a chunker. And I'm like, why does this car look so fat? Like, I know it's the hatchback, and like my car looks a little chunky sometimes, but by no means is it what it looks like now. Yeah. I'm, I'm not buying a Honda Fit. Right, yeah. <laughs> so so it's like the RS and all the LTZ, that's just all it's all gonna carry over to the next one. Yeah. Still gonna be well RS? the LTZ's gone because the RS just took over the LTZ. Oh okay. After the 2013 year, which was my year, my year's the last year of the LTZ 2014 RS. Oh okay. And so the the RS package it, so they're gonna have base model, LT and RS. Oh okay. So I guess that'll still carry over at least. It's just you know the the, the whole over, the the whole look of the car that that I like to begin with is gone honestly. Yeah. For me. So. Definitely. Well, guys, but yeah, that's just our two cents on it. I mean, we could be wrong. You could like it. Like I said, we'll like Ezra said, we'll leave a link in the description to the article, and uh, of course there there's images all over. This yeah, thing. and we'll find out you know when they actually come out, and we'll see what we think about it then. Yeah, guys. So be sure to let us know what you thought in the comments below. Like and subscribe. We need a little bit more people. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, guys, have a good one, and we'll catch you later. Peace. See you around.